just come to you tonight. Drawn to the place of worship, not because of duty, not because of obligation, but simply the kindness that leads us to repentance, the mercies that are new for us every morning. We thank you, Father, that it is our joy, it is our reward to turn to you, to fix our eyes on you, and see that you are waiting for us. We don't have to approach you with fear. With full confidence. Knowing that you're waiting for us with open arms, ready to speak, ready to meet us here. and faith and trust of your goodness and your kindness that we're able to draw near to you tonight. We thank you that this is our home.
For I just want to bless your name And I just want to make you glad And I just want to move your heart, God To give you all I am And I just want to bless your name And I just want to make you glad And I just want to move your heart, God Give you all I am Cause I just want to bless your name, Jesus, and I just want to make you glad, it's all I want, and I just want to move your heart, God, give you all I I just want to bless your name, and I just want to make you glad, and I just want to move your heart, God, to give you all I am, and I just want to bless your name, and I just want to I just want 
will bless your name And I just want to make you glad And I just want to move your heart, God Give you all I am I just want to bless your name And I just want to make you glad And I just want to move your heart, God Give you all I am To worship you, I live To worship you to worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live. To worship you. for 
I pour it out at your feet. I pour it out at your feet. No holding back. Not counting the cost. I pour it out at your feet. I pour it out at your feet. Oh, the last drop is gone. The last drop is wasted at your feet. I'll choose to pour it out. Oh, I choose to pour it out over and over again. Over and over again. Over I've spent it all over and over again Till I feel like I have nothing left I'll spill it all over and over again For you are worthy Oh, you are worthy of it all You're worthy of it all You're worthy of it all To the very last drop very last drop. Oh, you're worthy of it all, Jesus. You're worthy of it all, Jesus. You're worthy of it all, Jesus. You're worthy of it all,
Thank you. 
guys can hear me, nod your head. hear me? Okay, can you tell Delia to sing into the mic? Tell Delia to sing into the mic. Or all. Jesus, the image of the invisible God, divinity confirmed in the transfigured world, a kingdom once come.
God, you are worthy. We praise you. Your name alone is powerful. Jesus. be going into a time of praying and interceding for the nation of North Korea from the Word of God in Isaiah 61. As we do this, we come as ones who are anointed. It's a common verse, it's a common passage that we pray through, that we meditate on. But it's not just a movement that is anointed. It is individually each one of us. And so we pray from that place of anointing, knowing that we are anointed, knowing that God has chosen to partner with us. So I encourage you to open your Bibles as we pray through the scripture. Please join us as we declare the truth and hope of salvation over the nation of North Korea. Take up your authority to intercede with God's heart for this nation. Tonight we'll be reading from Isaiah 61 verses 1 through 4. Isaiah 61 verse 1. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners. God, you have anointed us with your Sovereign Spirit to proclaim the good news. You desire to be with your creation so intensely that you anointed the mouths of your heirs before us to proclaim the good news that we would hear and anointed our mouths to do the same. And you have anointed many to proclaim the good news specifically in North Korea. Burn in the hearts of your anointed ones. Burn the word in our hearts and on our lips so we cannot be silent. Reveal your heart in us. For the anointed ones already in North Korea, both natives and foreigners, we declare that they are right now receiving the courage, the strength, the mobility that they lack to proclaim the good news without reservation because they have been sent. They are anointed. ready more and more proclaimers with burning hearts and burning lips to go into North Korea as you do your work to open the doors. Send us to bind up the brokenhearted God. And until we can go there with our feet into the land, break down our barriers of ignorance and apathy through intercession to go with you where our feet can't go yet. Jesus, you surrendered to death. You overcame it. You won the keys of life to set captives free. You made us, your heirs, to carry those keys, and you've anointed us to set prisoners free by your name and by your spirit. Make us faithful. Make your anointed ones keys and light to release prisoners from darkness. Shine your people in North Korea to bring light Bring to light what is done in darkness and reveal freedom to those who have only known captivity. Open prison doors by your glorious light, God. Let's pray. Take the broken pieces of my life 
never ends. Open up our mouths, open up our mouths.
to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn. Your favor, God, is coming over the people of North Korea. Yours is not the favor of a fickle man or a tyrannical ruler. Yours is favor that is endlessly poured out in spite of what man may say or do. But your vengeance, God, your vengeance is awesome and terrible to behold when you unbridle your justice on the hard-hearted, on the oppressor, on those who withhold justice and freedom from the innocent. As your justice comes, bringing recompense for all who have suffered under the heavy yoke of oppression, let these learn to mourn fully and receive the comfort of the Sovereign One who is greater than any oppressor. The God of all comfort is coming with justice to North Korea. It is not a flimsy justice or a superficial comfort. He is coming to wipe the tears from your eyes, North Korea, and pour grace into the depth of your mourning, into the deepest depths of your mourning.
Salvation draws near. Salvation draws near. Oh, lift up your eyes. Lift up your eyes. Salvation draws near. Salvation draws near. Oh, lift up your eyes. Lift up your eyes. Salvation draws near. Salvation draws near. Lift up your eyes. Lift up your eyes. Salvation draws near. Salvation draws near. Isaiah 61, verse 3. And provide for those who grieve in Zion to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. We prophesy North Korea being revealed to the world as a beautiful picture of your provision, God, your keeping grace as you supernaturally sustain a people under oppression, bent on destruction. We desire to see your sovereign goodness displayed in North Korea. We declare the ashes of past destruction no longer weighing down the heads of generation after generation, but being replaced with a crown of beauty. Beautiful are the crowns of those who have been set free from the bitterness and grief of mourning. They are set on heads covered with the oil of joy. The massive crowns they've won from the deep seasons of mourning are light to them, and they surrender these hard-won crowns at your feet in praise of the one who made their salvation sure. Lord, as you send them out to proclaim this good news to those who are still bowed down under the weight of ashes, make them oaks of righteousness in North Korea, grown tall in the secret places to shout your goodness that all must acknowledge. They couldn't steal your joy. They couldn't steal your joy. Even through death, persecution. They couldn't steal your joy. They couldn't steal your joy. Oh, for the joy set before you, laid it all down down at the feet of the king oh for the joy set before you you laid it all down you laid it all down at the feet of the king oh, death couldn't steal your joy darkness couldn't steal your joy Persecution couldn't steal your joy. Oh, was coming a day of the rejoicing of the nations. A mighty great harvest of joy. A mighty great harvest of joy. The days come. joy in our heart, a joy in our heart, God is making for himself a pride, he's triumphed over death, he's triumphed over death, oh how beautiful, how beautiful, how beautiful. Oh, death 
couldn't steal her joy. Death couldn't steal her joy in you. Death couldn't steal her joy. Death couldn't steal her joy. joyful bride for a joyful bride for one day the king will come for a victorious bride a victorious bride oh that day is coming oh that day is coming offenses to remain, but in your sovereignty, you will restore these places of devastation and bitterness to bring back unity that has been lost for generations. You desire restoration of every devastation. We prophesy your rebuilding and restoration of the unity that's been lost. Do what only you can do. On the land you blessed through the Pyongyang revival. Your kingdom was established in the hearts of men and women and children as they surrendered to your sovereignty in repentance. We prophesy the uncovering of the hidden foundations as your church comes out of hiding and the rebuilding of all that has been scattered. Your church, your bride, your kingdom here on earth in North Korea. Underground streams of living water. On the day you will. Ex- 
exposed streams of living water streams of living water church will shine again on that day as a city on a hill as a city on a hill what was once broken will be rebuilt will be rebuilt only you can heal only you Oh God of restoration, oh God of restoration, you will bring your people to a new place of life in you. Oh, what you've done in the past, you'll surpass in the future. We trust in this. Trust in this, your promises, they never go without God, you will restore, you say the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former, oh the glory of the latter house will be greater than the former. Oh, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. Oh, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. Oh, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. Oh, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. Oh, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former oh the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former oh the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former oh the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former oh the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former Oh, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. Oh, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. Oh, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. Oh, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. Oh, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former oh the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former oh the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former oh the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former oh the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former oh god revival like we've never seen before right now, god. revival like they've never seen before you will move in different ways you will move in greater ways than before we will see it we're doing a new thing for you take us from glory to glory you take us from glory to glory you take us from glory to glory oh god god you take us from glory to glory god you take us from glory to glory god you take us from glory to glory oh god oh you take us from glory
glory to glory. Oh, you take us from glory to glory. Oh, you take us from glory to glory, oh God. Oh, you take us from glory to glory. Oh, you take us from glory to glory. Oh, you take us from glory to glory, oh God. Oh, you take us from glory to glory. Oh, you take us from glory to glory. Oh, you take us from glory to glory, oh God. Oh, you take us from glory to glory. Oh, you take us from glory to glory. Oh, you take us from glory to glory. Oh God. God, we thank you that you have glory in store in North Korea that cannot be seen with human eyes, but we see it in the spirit. We claim your promise to your people. We claim the promises that you have made. And we stand in faith that it is coming that you are bringing justice, that it will flow down, and that you will bring every morning into joy. Thank you, Jesus, that you can do this as only you can do. We stand and wait. We wait in intercession. You have anointed us, and we will intercede. Thank you, God. Amen. Now we'll be going into a time of intercession through prayer topics. Tonight we'll be praying for North Korea, specifically for kingdom culture to be established. Please come into agreement with me as I pray along with the prayer points on the screen. And then raise intercession with your own voice as the Spirit leads you to pray through each topic. Lord, we desire to see your kingdom established in North Korea. No boundaries of man drawn on a map or strung with barbed wire can stand in the way of your sovereign lordship. God, bring an outpouring of salvation to establish your kingdom in the hearts of people all over North Korea. From the DMZ to Pyongyang, from the coastlines to the flooded lands in the north, from the ruling classes to the prisoners in labor camps. Pour out your salvation, God. We declare your bright light of truth shining into the darkest places of injustice. Lord, in your kingdom, there is no injustice, none held captive, for you are the light that shines brighter than the sun, and every evil intention is shown for what it is. Overthrow the tables of injustice and set free the oppressed that they may praise your name. Let's pray.
just as you have hardened the hearts of kings, to humble them and to show your power and glory. We prophesy your glory shining forth as the oppression is dismantled in North Korea. God, the rulers and principalities lay claim to North Korea with a vice grip of power through one man. One look from the fire in your eyes, one word from your thunderous voice establishes your sovereign power. We know this is true, God, and we stand knowing that you are powerful. We declare your power, your might, and your rightful place as King of Kings, established in the land of North Korea. And we expect justice manifest in the natural as a result because your kingdom reigns in North Korea. Let's pray. prophesy the church of North Korea is rising up to be a strong tower for all who will run to her. We declare that though the church in North Korea is secretive by necessity, that their life and light and hope will be evident to all as they trust fully in you as their rest and their protector. God, we pray that you would unify us unity in your bride inside and outside North Korea for we all belong to one salvation one spirit and we are all heirs of one kingdom it is established by our praises lifted to the king of kings in all time zones and all languages give us unity God with the church in North Korea and the purity of hope strengthen your church through unity as you establish your kingdom through your bride. Let's pray.
King of kings, Lord of lords, reveal yourself, your heart and your vision for this peninsula. God, lay aside every agenda that is not in line with the establishment of your kingdom here. We prophesy the work of your salvation, dismantling the bitterness and offense that has risen over generations. Lord, start with your church, your bride. Bind us together in unity and hope as we cry out for restoration of the Korean people who have too long been divided. These lines of division cannot stand under your kingdom. We are unified. There is unity in your bride. We long to see this unity in this land. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. Let's pray. Thank you that you have a unity in your kingdom and that your kingdom is already established. We are a people who live under an established kingdom and it's not the one we see. God, I pray that this faith will go throughout your church, that we would have a unity of trust, that you are God and there is no other. Flow through North Korea with your salvation, God. Set the captives free. Though we cannot go with our hands and our feet, that you go as we pray, and we will continue to pray. Set your intention for North Korea on our hearts, God. Burn it into our hearts. Burn it on our lips. We entrust you with North Korea. And we stand in the knowledge of your grace that will overcome and is overcoming. We 
Thank you, Jesus. Amen. There's a light drawing near that will displace all your fears. Brilliant as the sun, you won't delay. Perfect love is on its way. There's a light. There's a light drawing near that will displace all your fears. Brilliant as the sun, you won't delay. Perfect love. It's on its way. And oh my God, you can do anything. Oh my God, nothing's too hard for you. Oh my God. There's a justice rolling down, and all that's hidden will be found. The holy recompense, a kingdom comes, no force can stop, it will be done. There's a justice, there's a justice rolling down and all that's hidden will be found the holy recompense the kingdom comes no force can stop this will be done oh my god Father, when our faith is shaken and when we don't see things moving in the natural, we choose to place our faith and our hope in you. We choose to trust in your promises that you've spoken over this nation. We thank you, Father, that you're a father whose heart is bent on restoring this nation, on bringing blessing where there was once curse. 
or bring restoration where there's brokenness and division. We thank you, Father, that through your hand and through your spirit, you will do this. We thank you, God, and we look forward to the day, Lord God, when we'll see it with our own eyes. We thank you, God, that you bring us in to the place of intercession, calling out things that we see in the spirit, exercising our faith, knowing, God, that every prayer that we lift up to you, Lord God, is heard. That as we pray and as we intercede, things happen in the nations. We thank you, God, for this confidence and this, this trust that we have in your unfailing ability to be able to move and accomplish everything that you've set out to do. We thank you, God. We trust in you. We love you. We pray all these things in Jesus' name.